So for the final question number seven, uh, Python final review review uh, is about classes. So we're going to create a class and call it student. And you're going to give the student the following attributes, name, grade, and nationality. Um, you're going to create a class method to change the grade called change grade. Create a student instance with your name and define the name, grade, and nationality. And print the information like the following. So for example, Christian is in grade 11 and Christian is American. So using the class method change grade, change the grade to 12 and print Christian is in grade 12. So uh, we need to create a class and it's called students. And if you recall, we capitalize uh, class names as a convention. So we need to initialize, so it's two underscores, use the protected init method and because it is a class, we use self. And the attributes that we have listed, we have name, uh, what else do we say? Grade and nationality. That's what we're going to be sending when we you know, create our student instance. So what we got to do is so self.name equals name self.grade equals grade and self.nationality equals national. Okay, so that's that's it for initializing. Um, and then we're supposed to create a class method to change the grade called change grade. So we're going to define it inside the class and it's called change grade. And because it's a class method, again we need to use self and we are changing the attribute of grade. That's a little noisy out there. So we do self.grade equals grade. So this grade equals the new grade that we're going to be sending. Now, if we want to get fancy, we could validate the data. So for example, you know, if grade is you know greater than zero, zero and grade is less than 13 because grades go up to 12 here at our school. So, we don't, so if we sent like a, a wrong number, uh, like 13 or 14, uh, it would it would not change the grade. But we don't have to do that for this particular question. Okay, so that's all, that's all we have to do to set that up. Okay, so we we created our class attributes. Uh, we created created our class method. I even threw a little validation there, even though it didn't ask for it. And now let's create a class instance. So Christian, that's me. And let's say I'm a student. And we have name, grade, and nationality. So name is Christian, obviously. Uh, grade's going to be a an integer. Nationality will be American. So then it says we have to print the information. So print. It's going to be my name is in grade and then the grade. So it is going to be Christian.name because that's where my name comes from and Christian.grade. Let's run that and see, what, see if it works. Okay, so Christian is in grade 11. Uh, oh, I forgot the line about nationality. So print percent, oops, percent s is percent s. Same kind of thing. So Christian dot name and Christian dot nationality. Run in terminal. Okay, and then it says that the it says what we need to do is let's say I'm being promoted from grade 11 to grade 12. So I'm going to say Christian dot change grade 12. Because we have the class method change grade self, which is Christian. And the grade, it's a new grade, 12. 12 is greater than 0 and less than 13. So it's going to set my new grade. And I can just boop, oops, oops, copy that after I change it. So let's run that. Okay, so there we go. So pretty straightforward. So we created the class, initialized it, 
with various attributes listed up here. Uh, we created the class method, changing the grade. Use self, and we're using grade. We even, like I said, we validated it here. We didn't have to do it. It's not part of the assignment, but it might be on the test. So it's good to know how to do those things. And then we printed out the information and used the class method. So we tested it, made sure that it worked. Okay. That's it.